Some very interesting things, guys, with max target number when firing Fox 3s with TWS. The multipathing got changed and multiple other things changed in the files and in the dev server. So let's take a quick look. We are here. I'm going to use this, this as a basis. This is the post made by Oshida. Thank you, Oshida, for doing this. And I will leave the links in the description. Okay, guys. So yeah, at first, nothing too crazy. Some MFD changes, stuff like that. Nothing too crazy. But then we go for this one. Aircraft weapon changes. So the F-14AB, MiG-29, 912A, 912B, the 913, the Namik 29G, SMT, SU-25, uh, SM3, and the AK-141 got the split on the countermeasures. What this means is they are actually working on uh, adding the, um, the flares for it. So I don't think it's working right now, but I did a video earlier today. They added for multiple aircraft, as I said, and you could choose the amount of flares and chaff that you can actually take here. If you go to the test flight, it will not actually work uh, right now. So it's still work in progress. So yeah, as you see, only the flare appeared uh, and the no chaffs. And once you click this thing, sometimes it's not like fully firing the chaff or not fully firing the flares and everything like that. So it's still work in progress, but yeah, they are working on it, which is pretty cool, right? Uh, countermeasure split for the for the F-16AM uh, as well. Equipping PIDs countermeasures now gives, of course, the RWRs and the missile warning system, which makes sense. Now you have to use the PID system to actually uh, utilize the missile warning system. I think I might be wrong, but still some bombs and rockets added to the Bison over here. So if you go to the Bison, uh, you can see that they added multiple types of bombs and rockets, which is pretty cool, good. Um, including the main ones would be the FOBs and stuff like that, Russian stuff, right? Uh, we had the Mark 80 series here, but now they added the Russian Soviet stuff, right? Which is pretty cool as well. Uh, the S countermeasures to the SU-27 SM, they're working on it. And then we go for the Raiders, which is pretty interesting, okay? So now... All of these Raiders, the Fox Hunter, APG-66, V3, V5, um, or the 68 V5, V7, V9, the Blue Vixen, the SU-27 SM Raider, the Zook from the SMT Raider, uh, the Gripen's Raider, the Mirage Raider, and the J8F Raider. Now, Max Weapon Target 2. So, I think, I'm gonna test it out with you guys right now, but I think this is a limit on the amount of targets that you can actually fire uh, at the same time and guide it. So we're going to test it out. Let me just check it out if there isn't any other Raiders doing that. The 63, apparently it is fine. 63 view one, narrow search. I think it's fine, yeah. I think it's fine. So uh, APG 65 um, GY as well, they are changing the you know, the way that the antenna works and stuff, uh, it's a slight buff to all of these raiders, if I'm not mistaken. They're just, like, searching, doing the search faster. Uh, most of them, at least. Yeah, it's basically a buff for the APG-63 and 65s, which is pretty interesting, actually. Um, and as you see, AUG-9, six targets. We're going to test it out that as well. Now identifies, okay, some RWR changes. And, yeah. Some RWR changes. So, uh, basically, all of these Raiders, we're going to test it out, for example, with the um, with the MiG-29 over here. Let me just grab it, open a custom, and fire some missiles. But it should be limited to two targets at once, while something like the F-14 and some others should be able to fire more targets at once. So, let's see if I can actually make this as a proper test. So, we're going to fire... Two R-77s in two targets, and tr and then try to fire the third one. Uh, but I think it's guiding itself. Let me fire more. Yeah, so I don't know what that is. I think it is a limitation for the amount of missiles you can fire, but the thing is that it they, they feel like they're still guiding, as you see. Maybe they're not, but the UI at least is telling me. So if you know what that means, let me know in the comments. There are some other changes, like for tanks, for example, some, you know, suspension changes, some damage model changes, uh, interesting changes to the field tanks, actually. If you take a look here, for example, uh, there are some probabilities of fires and explosions different now, you know? Uh, so, for example, depending on the damage that the ammunition does, it does 
more or less of a chance of exploding or catching on fire, which is pretty interesting. Uh, so, uh, yeah, kind of different, you know, <laughs> from uh, ground's perspective. Uh, ATGM changes some, you know, explosive mas masses and everything like that. I want to test it out the AGM, uh, but apparently got nerfed the Mavericks and stuff, but I gotta check it out. So apparently they removed the sharpness of these, but still, it doesn't matter. The Mavericks are still very much better than what they were, exploding tanks on one hit, which was something that didn't happen often um, in the live server, right? Some changes to the economy and other things for the F-16AM. Not gonna get too much into it, of course, with the Bisons as well, because of the new additions. Um, we have a new loading screen that we're going to check it out in a bit. Uh, let me just re-detect Okay, some changes to stat cards and stuff, nothing too crazy. There's a new warning, like uh, sound mod text, if you use a sound mod, so be careful with that. Probably just a warning, but still. Um, new skins, I'm gonna do proper a proper video on all the skins later, okay guys, but yeah, A1, F4F, the F15s, F16s, F104s, Gripens, Mirages, SU27SM, Tornadoes, Leopard 2A4M, they're all receiving new camouflages, which was expected. And uh, one little thing to end the video is that, uh, where is it? I actually... I actually missed where it was, I wanted to show to you guys, yeah, here, general changes, so multi-path effect up to 100 meters, now it's up to 50 meters, so yeah, guys, confirming that indeed it is um, nerfed, the multi-path thing in War Thunder right now, so very interesting to see this, let me know in the comments what you think about the changes, and I'll see you guys on the next one, bye guys, see ya.